So Alan, can you show us how we can make an element exist in OpenRPA? Sure. So the basis for all automation inside OpenRPA usually starts with a get element. So get element will search for something and, and give us a result. Um, so if we take the calculator, for instance, if I want to find the, 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 the number eight and I want to click it, I start by finding the element and clicking it. <laughs> um, this will per default search for three seconds. So if it doesn't find the element, it will try again and again and again, and we keep trying for three seconds. And, and, and th this gives us this result. So it finds the number eight, it clicks it, everything is okay. If I close the calculator and click play, it will search for three seconds and then it will fail. And this gives us a hint because in the error message, we can see it says failed locating one item. And as you can see, we have a maximum and a minimum amount of hits that a get element can get. So if we set this to zero, saying that we don't care if it find anything or, or not, then if we run this again, it will run for three seconds and not fail. It will just say, okay, sure, I'll go on. Whereas if I open the calculator and run it again, it instantly finds the number eight and clicks it. So if that is what we want, if we want instantly to know if something was on the screen or not, we can just set the timeout to zero. And that means that if I click it, uh, I click play, it finds number eight and click it. If I close it, it instantly uh, sees that it's not there and continues. And if I set minimum results back to one, it will instantly fail saying it didn't find anything. So this is an easy way for us to check if something is there or not. Where it gets a little bit more tricky is that if we want to do something, if it did not find anything, the way we do that is that we first save the result. So if we say, uh, I can't spell, let's say results. So if I save the elements that get element found to a variable called results, I can now say if results.count equals, I can't spell that one, count equals zero. Mm -hmm. So the array with the results, if that is zero, that means we didn't find anything. And I can now use that to do something. So if I here say nothing found, that means if I run this now, it says nothing found. But if I start the calculator, it clicks the button. So now I have two ways that this workflow can go. It either clicks the button or it gives me an error message telling that it didn't find anything. So there you go. Did that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Thank you, Alan.